Hey you guys. Part two. God damn cameras. It said record for 29 minutes, but I only got 14 minutes of video. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know. Jesus Christ. So anyway, I can't remember what I did. So you go on Charleston, North Carolina, and you look up King Street, 20 miles north. She said the priestess in St. Lucian, the spirit that helped me out in this carnation, in in this life, she's that's where she lived. And I asked, I asked for, I asked her to give me her her real name at that time period, in in uh, eighteen whatever, and uh, give me her real name. Any other things that might help in my re research? And then I go to North Carolina, I punch in Daniel Boone, North Carolina, I just, you know, Google it. And a hundred fucking things come up. I found my grave fucking stone. Well, his gravestone. So, in a spiritual context, because I'm kind of freaking out, in a spiritual context, I'm looking at my last life, Daniel Boone's fucking tombstone. And I'm like, damn, look at this. I'm getting weird shit happening here, man. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm not having visions right now. It's just feeling just, wow. And it's freaking me out. I wish I could get a passport. I, I'm, I live in Canada. In Chatham, Ontario. I live in Canada. I don't have a fucking passport. I'll never get across the border. I ain't getting my fucking venom shots. Or what? Not venom. Uh, Covid fucking death shots. I I ain't getting that on fucking moral grounds of fucking humanity. So what? How how can I even get there? Right? I don't have a car. I ain't taking a bus. I got no money to stay in a hotel. I'm poor as shit. But, nevertheless, I got Google and fucking the internet. Awesome stuff, guys. Blow me away. And, and, what trips me out is this. My last life. Yeah, my last life. Now, hold on a minute. Let me just get the dates and shit. Okay. I was a Native American, and I, Cheyenne, in one, of my, in one of my past lives. And I had a vision of my death. Because I asked specifically for what was my past life. And I relived it. And Cheyenne. And I died. And in the vision it said. I died. Little River, Ark. 1700. Little River, Arkansas. Blew me away. Blew me away. And that was in 92. 1992 I relived that. And um, in Vancouver, BC, when I was living there for three years. And I saw that past life. Got some help from a friend who narrowed, narrowed it down for me. Then there's two Little River Arcs and something, I can't remember exactly what she said. But, the thing is this I died in 1700. Daniel Boone was born 1734. So I was dead for 34 fucking years before I was reborn. Okay? Then, I died. Daniel Boone died. I don't know. Uh, I died as a Native American, Cheyenne, Little River, Arkansas, 1700. Reborn again, 1734. And I died 1820. Then I was born again, and I don't know the dates. This is... With me and Tina. And Tina's in the spirit side. She told me this. And I relived that past life too. Before, when I was like 18, 20, I relived that past life. But I don't have a date for it. And all I know is I had, there was, we had gun, a rifle, for hunting rabbits and deer and shit. We had horse and carriage. And we lived in a fucking cabin. And it was cold, cold, cold. And it was in Russia somewhere. Something like that. Because 
on the store my dad worked in on the wooden in the wooden store the sidewalk was wood the street was mud and my dad owned the store as I walked into the store in the vision I looked up at the store and it had the upside down Russian writing so I knew it was over there somewhere just because of the writing I didn't know what like I said but when I walked in I could smell a bread I could I was choking on the smell it was so so powerful so I knew it was a bread store when I died in that past life I don't know the date but I was like 18 years old right yeah because her, I met Tina, we fell in love, we were going to build my own cabin next to my dad's property, his cabin, and I had a festival, uh, not a Halloween, but a harvest festival in the barn. We're having a harvest festival where the whole town gets together. A bunch of guys tried to, or actually killed, where me and her were walking home, and these three village idiots, three or four village idiots, like Jethro Bodine, but psycho, cut my throat and stabbed her to death on the road and left. Went back to the party. That's when I died. I was like 18. Now, I don't know when I died in that life, but I was born in 68 in this life. Okay. It's tiring trying to figure this shit out. <laughs> so, 18 years. So, if I died 1820 as Daniel Boone, and I was born again, I was born again somewhere in the late 1800s. And they had stagecoaches in the 1900s. So, somewhere in that 18, 18 years or so, I think it was 18, I was 18 when I died, somewhere in that late 1800s, early 19, like, I think I died in the 18s, I don't feel 19, <clears throat> but near the end, late 1800s, I lived for 18 years and died in Russia, Tina later comes out and tells me, we lived, she goes, we lived outside St. Petersburg, she goes, it ain't there no more. It's gone. It's totally gone. It's a fucking, it's a city now. So St. Petersburg was just like a little tiny town. Like, real small. But then it grew up and expanded. Encompassed our farm where we lived. And just became a great big metropolis. So our, our where we lived in, outside St. Petersburg, is totally gone. Totally gone. So, and the same thing with Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone. All that shit is there. And I, I go on to Google, man. Punching his name. I see the shit that comes up. I found one site where these people found a deer antler, and it says. And I put it in the, in the first part one in the description where they find a deer antler and it says boom, 17 whatever carved into the thing. Turns out he carved it for these people. And I don't remember. I don't remember any shit. So I, and I guess I heard just now, today, today that I didn't, they told me I didn't want to remember it was because it was such a hard ass life, brutal fucking life. And the thing was, priestess said I went on my killing spree and she said I killed 368 people as Daniel Boone, as in the war, I think it's including in the war. But, she says, I went on a secret killing spree, killing fucking bad, bad, bad guys, secretly, in my, in my own thing. And I'm getting slow visions over time of those. And I put one, 
earlier in the playlist of Daniel Boone. So check that out, man. That's cool. And I still remember it. Because I thought I was going to die in that one. And the one Christ gave me is Daniel Boone. I stopped a murder. Well, my people, my friends, and from the war, the war was over. My friends, we were in Boston or New York or some big city. And we were outside getting drunk. When we were in a bar getting drunk, we came outside, we are staying there, and these other people from the town, we were in the north, and these other people from the town fucking looked at us and knew we were the enemy, and they started fucking calling us names. My buddy, he pulled his knife, went over to him, he was going to cut their fucking throat, kill them right there, and I grabbed him, smartened him up, and I said, don't, man, the war's over, just, they're just words, just let it go. He goes, your fucking life is over if you do anything. He goes, forget about it, let's go. And now you got to see that when we were in the war, anybody said anything like that, my buddies will kill them, or, you know, me too. It was a fucking war, right? So I guess I was on the gray coat, the, the south. I was in the south. I don't even know nothing. I'm learning this right now. I'm learning this history of the fucking American Civil War right now, all right? I don't even, I'm, I'm learning it. I knew about it, but I didn't. My brother, my brother in this life, he had a past life as, I think he was from the north in that fucking war. And he got to go to Charleston, North Carolina and see all the, the ruins and shit, or no, was it some other place? I don't know. He went down there. He's got photos and everything. Where they have the ghost tours. He went down there and had the ghost tour and everything. He's not, he's not like me, spiritual. He is to a point, but he's more hockey. He likes hockey more than I do. <laughs> and he knows hockey. He played hockey. So poor like on us, like on a team. Anyway, bad something, all that. It's weird, man. So many connections throughout the ages, you know. Uh, the more I look, and I go on Google Earth, to King Street in North Carolina, and I, I'm scrolling, I, nothing, no reactions, don't see nothing. But then there's a, a place called Boone, the town called Boone, I think it's called Boone, and they, that's where the grave is and shit like that. Oh, it's crazy. I just can't get around it. And the more I look into it, the more I'm like, I'm trying to find a connection to it, you know? And the, and, to me, it's like, feel, it's just like, whatever happened here, whatever happened, it's just whatever happened, but people make it a big thing. And then, the only part I really connect to the Daniel Boone is through the war, the trauma, the lessons in it, and, it, and my love of fucking nature. Because before the war, I was, I grew up, a little kid, 10 years old, fucking shooting animals to eat, walking fucking thousand fucking miles by myself, Bigfoot, all that shit, everything, oh yeah, there's secrets he had, there's secrets he had, and yeah, I lived off the land, you know, shit like that, and in this life I'm the same way, I, I love the fucking, I love bugs, I can't even kill a cockroach, and I don't want to kill anything, I don't want to be in a war, I don't want to be around bad people, but bad people, not just people that swear and curse, that's fine, whatever, but I mean bad people, killers, I, I hate fucking politicians, I fucking hate them, I, I really do, I hate politicians, even the good ones, because they're just fucking liars, backstabbers, and fucking greedy mongers, and that's it, and if they ain't, they will be, because you ain't, you ain't gonna climb to the top to be a politician, Unless you joined a club. Club of Rome. <laughs> and then they have a gun on your head. And that's how it works. Or they got something on you. And compared, and then, in the Daniel Boone life, fuck. It was easy, straightforward, survival. 
it just live off the land and do your thing. Then, you, then I don't know. I have to watch a lot more of a freaking image. But my whole thing is, like, I always wanted a, the Appalachian Trail from upstate New York or whatever, all the way down to Kentucky and down there. That mountain range, Appalachian Trail. I always wanted to hike that. I always wanted to do that. And that's, when you get to Kentucky, that's where Boone lived. Or went to, went, went to places like that. It's fucking, it's freaking me out. And I love exploring it. I love it. And I, and I thought, I thought, you know, fuck, I gotta share this shit. How many times does this get to happen to a person? And the connection I made with, and I, he, his wife was called Rebecca. I'm thinking, is the is the priestess Rebecca? They need talking, so they know something. I don't know if it is or not. I don't. They ain't talking about it. Cause I'm with Tina. Rebecca was with me. If if the priestess was Rebecca. My wife taking care of the kids babysitting. And I came in to check on her. And she was being raped by one of my fucking grunts. And I killed him. And then went on a fucking killing spree. Killing everybody that did that shit. Uh, if, if, that's, if that's the case. I don't know yet. Gotta confirm it. Talking to them. Or, or I have visions or whatever. If that's the case. I was born again. As in Russia. Where I met Tina. Me and Tina are together. When we die, we got married. When we die, we got married. I don't know if it was St. Louis or not. I don't know where it was. And plus, you throw in all the aliens, Atlantis past lives, and from what I've seen in the ET past life, of come, did the day I landed fucking here on the fucking Earth box. <clears throat> You throw all that in there, and it's like, wow. And it's like, you're thinking, everything's just fine, but then you, you watch YouTube videos, and you're like, <laughs> your brain just flips out. You're trying to make a connection, and it's not there, but then it is there at the same time. But it was a different skin. Different skin. Same dude inside. That's what I'm trying to do, but I'm always... It's too early for me to figure out, but to feel, because this is so real, man. It's right in my fucking face. I'm having fucking visions of it, like, like now, like, like when a vision is reality with your eyes open. You can die in a fucking vision, okay? You wake up with cuts and bruises and scars and sore teeth and eyes, punches and bruises. That's a fucking vision. Not just a fucking hype flower place, okay? Yeah. It's a trip. It's a fucking trip. Anyway, guys, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm just checking it out. Freaking out. I'm trying to ask what was her name. Maybe try to find her name in. Carol Car Car Charles Charleston. I don't even know Charleston. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard of it, but I don't know it. I don't know nothing about it. I didn't even know Daniel Boone was there. I thought he was off in fucking some other place. That's weird, man. Jesus Christ. That's weird. And they're telling me shit, and I look it up, and it's real. <laughs> Holy fuck. I love that shit when that happens. And I look at this life, and it's all UFOs and shit flying around and Bigfoots and stuff like that in the woods. But here I am, in Chatham, sitting in a fucking apartment alone by myself. It's not a bad thing, it's good actually. But compared to what I was, but I'm not saying that like Daniel Boone, but I'm getting that he has some serious fucking problems. But he loved nature and he loved being there, and that's what he did. And, and I did, the, I'm the same way today. I love to be out of fucking nature. I just got no money, to, no vehicle, no way of getting to where I gotta go. To go to nature. I mean, I hiked Manitoulin Island 
300 kilometers by myself over a fucking rock on the shoreline. Beautiful, best thing I ever did in my life. I'd do it again, but with a kayak. I just want a kayak, man. I just want a kayak forever. Till fucking water ends. I could go from here to fucking Africa in a kayak. From here to the end of the... From fucking Lake, on Lake Erie all the way to South America. To the end of South America. Whatever that's called. In a kayak. I just, but the only problem... I could do it. I could do it. I'd do it right now. The only problem is... People. The human fucking element of scum. Borders. Laws. Ignorance. Guns. Cults. Fucking crazy people. It's good people too. Lots of good people. But all the crazies make it fucking bad. And the politicians and the laws of every fucking country. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, you can't. You're hiking through the ocean. Be careful. This country is a war zone in South America. That type of shit. But I would love to do it. I love to fucking kayak the Amazon every fucking city. God. I ain't coming back again until this fucking money shit's cleared up. Worked my whole fucking life. Getting nothing. Nothing. Got a camera. It's starting to break. Lots of glitches happening. Gotta buy a new one. Soon. Anyway, enough of that shit. Fuck it. the past life is cool. I got more to explore. I got a lot more. I know he did a lot more, and I want to see it. I want to see everything. I want to see it. Explain it to you guys. Share it with you. Not just that. Even the native past life. The Cheyenne and the Russian past life. The Russian, part of the Russian past life is pretty fucking boring. I saw all the drama. The rest of it is just pretty boring. He just shot animals and ate. Did a lot of hard fucking work. And then the priest fucking kills you. Hires some fucking grunts to kill you. And then this life looks like I'm exploring all the past again and the spiritual aspect of it. Me in a meat body telling you guys what I know about my experiences in St. Lucian spirit world and how the two cross over and everything. Oh, it's crazy. And the ET element. Awesome stuff. Anyway, I gotta, I'm just daydreaming here. Trying to throw it around. But if I get any more Daniel Boone cool stuff, I will definitely, definitely tell you about it. Later, guys.